And although there's going to be petty bullshits that are going to be roaming wild all year, we know it. We probably know who it's going to be coming from. Yeah. That's right. We from 2023, 2022, 2021, 2020, right. 2019, right. Right. all the research we've done, we probably know who the negative bullshits are going to be coming from this 2024. But this year, we don't care. No. No. You're a bum. Bomb. Don't matter. You're a bum. You're bum. What is that? So we're not going to let bum mm -mm. bum us out. Exactly. Not Never. Not in 2024. This is going to be the greatest year we've ever had. Happy New Year to everybody. Thanks for allowing us to do this for a living. Hell yeah. Remember, Let's go. 2024, the vibes. Yeah, 2024, Four. the vibes. That is what this year is all about. Let's have some great vibes because of what we got a chance to do mm -hmm. just yesterday. So. Now, we have an entire NFL slate that we have to break down because a lot has happened. Yes. Tons. And there is massive implications this weekend as we have NFL football on Saturday but. and on Sunday. But. And then on Monday, we got the National Championship for college. I mean, this is – it is a great time to be – Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year. There's a lot of implications coming up in the NFL, and we certainly mm -hmm. will chat about that because – we didn't get a chance to go crazy about these refs. My oh God. Ha. Ha. Ruining the game, Pat. Whoa. There's a Lions fan. Yep. Tough, tough job. NFL's rigged here. Come on Whoa. now. Whoa. 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 Everyone's Whoa. saying it. Whoa. Whoa. It's Detroit versus everybody. Script writer's trying to build that for you. Yeah, Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you're welcome. Maybe you should be saying, hey, Raj, thanks for making us get kind of screwed over in a situation yeah. that, you know, we understand that Kadarius Tony egregious at the end of a game. Uh -huh. <laughs> but this whole thing, this is just standard operating procedure. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. It's been happening since the beginning of time, especially with numbers and everything that used to be for numbers. Now on the defensive side, offensive side, there's certainly question marks, but the offensive line still has to wear a certain frame uh, of numbers between, I think it's 50 and 80. Yeah, mm. I, I think yeah. is the mm -hmm. I think is the below. offensive line right. numbers. I think, and if it's anything in there, and you're going to a position that is eligible to receive a catch or to receive the ball, well, the defense is going to have to know that, and also the refs are whenever wow. they're looking at the line and who's where and who's what, they have to know. Shout out to Nick, had a great week. Happy New Year, Nick. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year, Nick. I certainly doing it. The refs and the other team need to know who is potentially going <laughs> to receive a catch. There's been centers before. That have been reported eligible mm -hmm. with different uh, formations that have been mm -hmm. set up. There's been guards that have been eligible with the way it's been set up. In this particular case, normally it's a tackle that kind of is a double tight end on one side, and it's kind of a heavy set. And it happens a lot more often than people even realize. It's taking place for some teams in every single goal line or short yardage situation. It's just called by the ref, and the commentators don't stop whenever the ref's talking. It's just hitting the stadium. Bill Belichick used to use this like 15 times a game in yep. the middle of the field, report eligible. Yeah, just an extra blocker. Mm -hmm. You're out of there. But the defense every single time has to go through. So it's kind of just like a formal ceremony that takes place yeah. and has been taking place for a long time. Now, Sewell's trying to block old cuz from being seen by the defense. Oh. Because once again, just a formal formality, I guess uh, situations or situation uh, there, just said the same thing with formal and formality. But he's now going to announce it. Defense, you know, not even really because of how often it happens. Listening, but not. 70 then gets called eligible yeah. mm -hmm. over the MC in-house. From what we've heard from the, uh, from the, the Spanish mm -hmm. copy yep. and also numerous social media <laughs> filming things. Then 70's coming on the field to try to make it look like he's potentially doing So now the defense has a soul walking this way, mm -hmm. guarding somebody, with somebody coming on from the sideline. So the defense is trying to make a lot of decisions. It was, it, you know, I've never seen eye candy on a reporting. I, I've never <laughs> seen eye candy <laughs> nope. on a reporting before. It's next level. This is next level. This is high IQ stuff. Oh, too high. And then all of a sudden, boom, bang, worst things of all happen, happens. We fail four, four straight two-point conversion mindsets. We're going even from the seven. We're going to do this mm -hmm. whole thing. And instead, now, instead of a historic season, we still have the opportunity to do it. We have a little bit of a same old Lions situation oh, here no. brewing after the brand new Lions do something that hasn't happened yep. in 30 years in Detroit. This is just going to add another chip on their shoulder. But we didn't even get a chance to say, what are these refs doing? <laughs> Come on. Banging it about themselves. d but I know you're a defensive player, so you're going to view yep. this obviously a lot differently than me. Uh, what do you think went wrong in this particular situation? And are we just saying to Brad Allen and his crew that have been demoted allegedly from the playoffs? Yeah. Now, uh, thank you. that's been reported from the internet. And we have no idea how that information got out so quick to these different you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. already. Because normally they don't talk about it at all. But I do appreciate the fact that some people have found out and they're telling the world, hey, he ain't going to be in the playoffs. It's mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of bad refs. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. You know, Brad is definitely a Brad ref. And it might be Jover for him uh -oh. <laughs> to go into the playoff. Shout out Gumpy. But, like, I don't know how that info got out. What do you? What is your takeaway from this? Yeah, you know it's tough. Uh, obviously, the ref's got a tough job. 
the Lions probably made it a little bit tougher on themselves and on the refs. You saw Skipper coming in there 70. And the thing about that, a little more context, that was probably like his second or maybe third or fourth time. Skip. Well, he's reporting himself as the eligible uh, jumbo tight end. As defenses, you kind of your game plan it. You know who the jumbo guys are. We had a play, I think, last week on um everything DB, good D, bad D, with an offensive lineman in the backfield. So I'm sure he had to report. And you got it. You've seen it. You've heard coaches Field talk goals. about it. You gotta, mm -hmm. you know, verbal, non-verbal. Hey, ref, I'm reporting. I'm reporting eligible. They announced to the defense. So I think. That kind of confused them. As soon as she saw 70 running on, just probably anticipated that it was going to be him again. Uh, Decker was kind of trying to be a little low-key about it. Uh, and, and who knows how the defense would have uh, adjusted differently if they knew 68 was the eligible receiver. So it was tough. You hate to see a game come down to that where the refs, you know, mess it up. But, but I don't have a problem for them being dropped from the playoffs either. You know, No, they, if that's right. I yeah, like a little accountability for yeah, strikes, yeah. which is what Same. we've been calling for forever. We've also been calling for consistency. I didn't get to see every play of that particular game because where we were watching mm -hmm. games at was certainly something. So I don't know how the refs were from start to finish. Probably inconsistent like every ref in the NFL has seemingly been all year. So I don't know what Brad Allen is as a ref other than this particular situation. Sure. Been around a while. Yeah. Dan yeah. said he drew, they drew the play up, too. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm saying. Dan Campbell going to him. Yeah. And then, like, explaining what's going to happen. And then in the biggest moment when they need it, exactly what he said was going to happen. It's tough. Happening. And then one of Brad's refs, by the way. Maybe Brad, I guess he had to be a part of it as well. But, like, all of it taking place in the biggest moment goes back to my point about, like, not all these refs are built for the moment. No. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Like, we obviously scrutinize and judge athletes when in the biggest moment they don't perform mm -hmm. their best. Well, why don't they perform their best? Well, they're overthinking. They're getting a little tight. They're doing something abnormal than what they used to do. They don't have good enough technique. So then whenever they have to rely upon it, it's not great. That's what separates the, right, from, yeah, mm -hmm. some, you know. Now, everybody can be good. Who can be the great? We know who's up here, okay? Serena. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wayne O. Yep. Tiger. LeBron. Mm -hmm. Peyton, Tom Brady, mm -hmm. John Daly, Flacco, Flacco, right? Yeah, all, you know who we're talking about. Exactly. Uh -huh. There's a difference here, and their difference is that in between the years, they are stone cold killers, and in the biggest moments, they perform at their absolute best. Some people have that, but they're not great. Other places, they are as well because they're always dialed in. Some of these refs are getting tossed in here, and they're in, Lions, Cowboys, massive, huge, huge game. That is a massive game. one seed on the line here. Two point convert, like here, here it is. Yes, like this is the whole thing. And sometimes, you know, you can just have a maybe Brad had that moment where he didn't even think or was just in auto mode because he's like, oh, we're in a big moment and checks in for seventy because it's happened before in the game. It's right. like that is that goes back to the whole point of like we need we need full time refs. Mm. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. so that we could develop them, mm -hmm. you know? And I had a chance to talk to a few source says within the officiating world because we talk about it a lot. We've been talking about it for a very long time. Yep. And as they pass the title of who's the head official, there's been different ways that things have kind of operated. And one of the things that's kind of getting left behind over the last couple of years, and I assume it's a budget conversation, is there's no real development. We talk about development of players. We talk about how, like, well, that's a good coaching staff. They make guys better over there. You know, college, that's obviously a massive thing. NFL, some places have better coaches than other places. There's no real development of these yeah. refs either. Mm -hmm. So, like, the development is them getting thrown into live action. Mm -hmm. And it's like, there it goes. If, you, if these people are full-time, you got off-season workouts. Yep. You got trust falls. Yep. You got a pool of people <laughs> maybe you could pull from. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? You got oh, yeah. practices you can go to. Hey, there's a high school seven-on-seven -seven taking place. Sweet. We'll send our 14th and 15th teams out to go cover that, just to get some work in the offseason, let alone conferences, everything. Like, the full-time official thing is not only because it's weird that we have to look into what the side job is for a ref that blows a call that costs me a massive bet. Yeah. That's a weird thing to have to do. This middle school teaching son of a bitch. What is this ref doing Monday through Friday? And then on Sunday, he's making this call, and, I, and I'm getting screwed up. The, the team's getting screwed over. So, obviously, that is a benefit of full-time refs, that it's their full-time job. And you would think that maybe they're not getting, you know, distracted by potential outsiders, mm -hmm. especially in the world that we're in right now. But also, we can make them better. Mm -hmm. And we can find who's good. And then you can also bench people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this particular line judge. <sighs> Do you see week one? Can't have it. Everything was wrong. Yep. Well, I've got to put it back on the bench, maybe develop a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Hey, Jack's been working his ass off. Yeah. yeah. You know, he started as back judge, moved to a line judge give this past chance. off season. Let's go ahead and give him a shot. You know, he's with Cleet Blakeman, been around a long time. He's got a veteran. He'll put him in there. Like, we should do that. There's the amount of money to do it. I'm sure some uh, sponsor yeah. would love oh, yeah. to pay the money to the NFL to even build that. But it's like whenever things like this happen, the first thought for everybody is just like, these refs suck. Mm -hmm. And they do. Suck. But I think we can make it better. And I think the NFL is trying. From what I've been told. I've been told that the NFL is making the right calls to the right people. Try harder. Good news. Having the right conversations. But the NFL moves like molasses. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah. is what the, the NFL is. It's a multi-billion dollar operation. Things are really good right now. I, I don't know if you've seen, the ratings are just doing this mm -hmm. right here. Mm. So, like, they move slow. But from what I've been told, all the right Kay. thoughts are happening, which is good news. I yeah, think. that's all you can really ask for. In, in the whole referee thing, what you just said, like relegation. Like, we need to send these bitches yeah. down like Burnley. You know, uh, I'm sorry. If, so where, Mac, Big 12, uh-uh. No, no, no. All the way down to FC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>